If you're tired of working hard on YouTube Shorts right now, just have your post flop while you're in the right place because by the end of this video, you're gonna know the three things that the YouTube algorithm actually wants to see. And if you're able to give it these three things, all of your dreams are gonna come true. You're gonna get more views, you're gonna get more subscribers, and you're even gonna get monetized on YouTube. Or if you're already monetized, you're gonna be able to make more money. And I don't care how many times you failed before in the past, simply making these three changes is gonna skyrocket the amount of growth that you're seeing. In fact, this creator was just able to gain over 250,000 subscribers and they were able to convert their shorts views into long form views so they can monetize the heck out of those views. And this creator was able to do the same thing except they gained over 600,000 followers and again, was able to convert those shorts viewers into long form viewers. And guess what? The same exact thing can happen to you if you implement these three tips. Step number one is you need to make sure that you're only creating content that YouTube actually has an audience for because here's the deal. If you're creating content and YouTube doesn't know that they have an audience for it, your post is gonna flop no matter how good your post is and all you have to do is position your post a little bit differently. In fact, there are three ways for you to be able to figure out exactly what your audience or your desired audience wants to see. The first way that you can do this is literally just by doing a search on YouTube, but you need to change some of the search parameters because if you don't, you're not gonna get the desired results. For example, if you are going to come and you wanna create a piece of content about something you thought your audience might be interested in, for example, if I make a video about the TikTok algorithm, now you don't just wanna type in TikTok algorithm, you actually wanna type in TikTok algorithm, hashtag shorts, and guess what this is gonna allow you to do? It's then going to allow you to filter the recently uploaded, and from here, we're gonna get a really good feel for whether or not there's actually an audience for this type of content. For example, this video right here obviously has nothing to do with what I search for and neither does this one and neither does this one. So guess what? That's a very clear sign. YouTube doesn't actually have an audience for content like this if you're posting shorts. But if we come over to long form content and do a different search, well, guess what? I mean, there are a bunch of different videos on this topic that are getting views and we wouldn't have actually seen that had we not specified whether we were searching for shorts or searching for long form. But that's not the only way that you can figure out whether or not there's an audience for the piece of content you're creating. And the second thing that you can do is go into your analytics and you might be able to see exactly what kind of content your audience is creating. So what you need to do is come to this page right here. You're gonna be looking at your channel. From here, you're gonna click manage videos and then you're gonna be able to go into your analytics, go into audience, and you're gonna be able to see other channels that your audience watches and what else your audience watches. And you can literally filter this by videos. You can filter it by shorts. And if you come into here and look at all these competitors' channels and look at the other videos, guess what? It's going to give you a ton of content ideas that are clearly getting views because YouTube has already told you that your audience likes this content. In addition to that, if you come up here and go to research, you can see exactly what your viewers are searching for. What I would strongly suggest doing is adding on right here, content gaps only, and this is gonna tell you content that people are searching for, in specific, your audience, but guess what? They're not finding a piece of content that they actually enjoy when they do a search for that, so this is a huge opportunity for you to be able to create content that hits these gaps, and I would only create content that has a search volume of high. And this brings me to the final thing that you could do, which is using a tool like vidIQ. So what you wanna do here is you wanna go and look up one of your competitors. For example, vidIQ is literally one of my competitors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on their channel. And then from here, if you have the vidIQ Chrome extension installed, guess what? You're gonna be able to click here and you're gonna be able to see trending videos because here's the deal. These videos right here are what are actually trending. And this VPH metric is how many views they're getting per hour. And this is gonna show you exactly what topics are working for them and what thumbnail are working for them because if you just look at their recent videos you might not actually be seeing the videos that YouTube is pushing out for example you might look at one of these videos down here like this one and think wow got 28,000 views that's something I should do but two weeks later it's only getting five views per hour so this isn't something that's actually getting recommended by YouTube so if you were to create a piece of content off of this just blindly you might think that you're gonna get a lot of views but you're actually not and there are several other things that vidIQ does that are really cool for example if you come into a short on here and then we pause this short right here and you change right here, shorts, you change this into watch, guess what it's gonna allow you to do? It's gonna allow you to view this video from a different angle and if you scroll down again with the Chrome extension, it is going to show you exactly what video tags they're using. In this case, they're using none. It shows you what topic they chose and even what channel wide tags they show and this is going to give you a ton of different information on what you could be doing differently within your shorts or your long form content to ensure that this actually an audience for that piece of content because if there's not you're not going to get views no matter how good of a video you make 
But we can't stop there because you can make a great video about a certain topic, but if you're not hitting the two metrics I'm about to share with you, it's going to tank the amount of views that you're getting. But first, I wanna make sure that if you wanna get vidIQ right now and get the Chrome extension and all those cool tools that I just showed you, go to the pinned comment below and sign up today. Just $1 for the next 30 days and it's an absolute no-brainer. I would have never gained over 650,000 subscribers, gotten over 40 million views on YouTube had it not been for vidIQ because I'd still be posting videos that nobody cares about. And vidIQ makes it incredibly easy for you to know exactly what your audience wants to see. So what are you waiting for? Go to that pinned comment below and sign up right now. It's literally $1. One dollar could be the difference between your next video flopping or your next video going viral because you knew exactly what to create for your specific audience. Now those two metrics that you need to make sure that you're hitting are gonna be the swipe versus view ratio and also the average view duration. Now before I share with you exactly what percentages you need to hit, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna go quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms and you're not gonna regret seeing my videos in the future. And that is that you need to actually be choosing the right length for the right topic you're creating. And this is gonna be different even if you're posting within the same niche. For example, if you were making a Minecraft video and you were doing a video about Minecraft hacks or you were doing a video like a Minecraft walkthrough, well, guess what? Those two different video types are gonna require drastically different lengths. And the three best lengths right now on YouTube are gonna be 12 to 15 seconds, 31 to 36 seconds, and 55 to 60 seconds. But you can't just go based off of those lengths. You need to take that length right there and you need to match it up with the perfect topic. So essentially what you wanna do, you wanna go back to step one where we were looking at the different topics and you need to figure out exactly how long the best videos are for that topic and they're going to fit into one of those three time slots that I just shared with you and that is how long you should actually be creating your content because if you don't do that right it's going to destroy the amount of reach you get. Now at this point there are only two reasons that you're not getting the growth that you want to on YouTube right now. Either one you still don't know what to post or two you don't actually know how to improve your content and I want to make that easier for you. In fact I want to guarantee I can help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days just like this creator that gained over 250,000 and this creator that gained over 600,000. I want to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use. I want to critique your content and tell you everything that you're doing wrong to guarantee that you get more subscribers. If that sounds interesting and you want to make growing on YouTube YouTube easy? Well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back as zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, Go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.